hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make a rope out of grass. Now, for first thing you do is, um, some people like to dry the grass out and um, get it all like perfect before they do it. But if you just need a short amount of cordage in a short period of time, like you just um, need to get some rope, this can be used. All you need to do is start off, um, get however thickness you want. You can use um, two on each side, one on each side, or um, I have four on each side, so a total of eight blades of grass. And I'm just going to spin the one closest to me. Um, it's going to spin towards me. The top of the grass will spin towards me. And I'm going to roll it over the other four. Then I'm going to take the other four that will now be closer to me. And I'm going to roll, spin that toward me and put that over top of those. And you're just going to keep repeating this process. Now, you'll, um, after doing this a couple times, you'll start to see the grass form together and make um, some cordage. And what most people are thinking is, what are you going to do when you run out of these pieces of grass? I'll show you. What you don't want to happen is have your grass the same length. You want different sized pieces of grass. So that way, when you run out of one, you're only replacing that one at the time. Or you may end up with having to replace two or maybe three at the same time. But you should never replace them all at once. In fact, you shouldn't replace more than half of them at once. So, um, I'm going to keep spinning this for a second. And actually, oh no, there's four here. And there's four over here, yeah. So, um, I'll go ahead and show you how it's starting to look. This isn't going to look too much like it will in the end. But as you see, it's just like twined together. Um, you can spin it much tight, more tightly. And actually, if you have a second person, you can get it going much quicker. And do you want to show them that or not? So, you know how the closest one you spin toward you, now you're going to spin both the same way. Remember, just pinch it and spin like that. It's much quicker. Then you're going to start twining the um, corded much quicker. You all missed out? Yeah, kind of. Kind of. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, just this one. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and show them how to replace it. All right. Me. So, um, when you'll start making your cordage, and then you'll end up running out. So then you just grab another piece of grass, and put it in right where the end of the rope is, right where the grass blades start, and you'll just spin it in as nothing happened. Keep spinning it. Just spin it in. Bring it up a little. What do you mean? For the camera. Oh, okay. Alright, so I'm going to need to replace one in a minute as well. Yeah, um, you can use different types of grass. Let me replace one of mine real quick. Now, different types of grass that you use will result in different strength or different type of rope or cordage. If you use um, something like cattail, you'll end up with a soft rope that's really smooth. But it will also be much weaker than another type of grass. I have no idea what this is. It's just like a long grass plant in my neighborhood that we picked it from. But you can also use something like um, uh, yucca leaves, which are really good for it. And people also use bark. And um, that thin bark, the inner bark. I need to replace a couple of mine. So, um, just remember, here, one second, let me get some. Yeah, we placed three. Yeah, I know. They just, like, all ran out at once, but. That's so good. Yeah. So, um, if you actually have different types of grass to choose from, we had some cattail, but I choose this over that, because I figured I'd just pick these. I don't know why, but. <laughs> no reason. 
But we might use this for um bowstring for a um oh. oak longbow that we're making. You got to grab that. Yeah. Mhm. Yeah. So um, as you see, you can start making a fairly That's good tough. amount of rope fairly quickly. I have to pinch it. Mm. Look, dog hair. Mhm. Mm so we also are gonna show you how to double it up. Um, to turn this. Um, eight strand cord into a sixteen strand cord. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and spin till one of us needs to replace them, and go ahead and tie it off and show you how to do that. Why is it that mine looks horrible? Because you're not spinning down low and you're not really doing it the good way. I mean, it's still working. Yeah, it looks fine. You just spin it down lower. You want to spin down low so you don't have to spin as much to get it spun together. Mm. That would make more sense. Yeah, yeah it would. Feel a little bit artistic. Ar artistic, <laughs> not artistic people. So, so I think I'm about ready. Yeah. Just so let's it just here. go ahead. And... <clears throat> so then you just tie a knot at the end of your rope. Bring it up a little. Okay, so you're going to just tie a knot in the end of your rope, and you'll start to notice it's going to actually start doing what a rope does. It's going to be really flexible. And if you want to make it much stronger, like this is pretty strong, I could probably snap it, but I don't want to necessarily try. What you're going to do is you're going to fold it and find the center point of it. And this time, since last time we spun the bottom toward us, we're going to spin the top one, furthest one away, away from us. And we're going to do the exact opposite way as last time. So it's actually going to um, spin the pieces um, together tighter and result in a stronger cord or stronger rope. And you just keep spinning this together and you'll start to see... A larger rope forming. They're great for bracelets and necklaces for your girlfriend slash boyfriend. <laughs> I know. I've tried it. For my girlfriend. <laughs> you sure it wasn't your girlfriend? No, it was my girlfriend. I mean your boyfriend. Ha ha, I'm not gay. <laughs> Coming from the single man. You smell turkey bacon? Yes, I do. Let's go get some after this video. Feel right. strong brass. That hurts when you get hit by. It does? Yes. Okay. Hit me. Ow! <laughs> Alright, see? It's a weapon. Well, anyway, this is how you can make a um, cord out of grass. And using this cord, you can make, like, survival bracelets, which is probably what we might do. We we'll might make a really long one and make a survival bracelet out of it or do something else with it. Thank you for watching. Bye.